Hi, my name is Kerry Ellis, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about warming up your voice before you go on stage for a West End show. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. So before any show, everyone comes together and it's kind of a nice time that everyone comes on a, on the stage and we all meet and we all say hello and we would do probably a physical warm-up for maybe 10-15 minutes depending on how strenuous the show is physically and then we'll also do a vocal warm-up breathe in for four breathe out for four take a deep breath in and then and that gets your diaphragm working. If you try it, you'll feel that moving and it's, it just gets you um, ready for action. We might then do a few hums. Hmm, ah, just to get your, your voice just active and working. My favorite thing is, is a siren. You kind of close the back of your throat and um, make the noise of an NG. Mm. And you can siren right from the bottom of your range, right to the top of your range. And this kind of irons out any glitches. It wakes your voice up. It gets the blood pumping. Mm. And you might have heard that that glitch in my in my, in my break, and that's just me getting getting warm. And hopefully that will go, and you won't hear that eventually. <laughs> Gross. Your phlegm will start to move because your voice is getting warm. Just like an athlete, when you start to warm up your body and you warm up those muscles, things start moving around, the blood starts pumping, and it gets easier. And then I might try it on a. And then you can do it on an E, on an R, on an O, whatever feels nice. I always like an E. You can still hear that break, but that's okay. It's just your voice getting warm. So then you would probably go into a few scales. You would have a pianist, which would be lovely, and they would play you lots of lovely scales. And you would just do it on an R, going up the scale and down the scale. And then we would probably move on to things like um, tongue twisters, just to get your mouth moving. Just up the scale. So red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, and down. We then might get your brain in gear and your voice at the same time, which is quite tough, but you have to do it with musical theatre because there's bits of set moving around around you have to move and sing at the same time. We would do things like the numbers scale. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, eight, eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, seven, eight. I'm down the scale again. I won't do it because it's very boring. We would perhaps try to sing a little bit. So maybe something like Somewhere Over the Rainbow, we might do the first bit of it because it's got a nice um, octave jump. And we might go through that a few times, but just the beginning bit, uh, and move up the scale so we might go somewhere over the rainbow way up high and then slightly higher and somewhere over the rainbow way up high and then we might go really high and really low depending on if we've got males and uh, females and sopranos and altos we'll make sure that we cover everything after that we're kind of pretty much ready. You don't want to sing too much before a show because you've got a whole show to sing. So you don't want to wear your voice out before you actually get into the show. Being a musical theatre singer, you have to sing for eight shows a week. So that's quite tough. And you have to learn to um, sustain your voice, make sure that you can last those eight shows and have one day off and recover and be ready to go again. So it's all about maintenance. It's all about taking care of yourself, not pushing too much.